Hi everyone and welcome to Cooking with Cricket. Today I'm going to make kind of like a steak and potato vegetable stir fry. So I'm going to show you everything that we're going to need and then we'll get started. So what we're going to need, I, um, my husband found this yesterday on sale. It's a uh, beef stir fry already cut in strips, still kind of frozen. But you don't have to use this, you know, any little cheap piece of steak I will do. Sometimes we just get that and I just cut it up in strips. And I will be cutting this a few more times to uh, make it even smaller. And then I had some uh, broccoli that I needed to use up. So I took, this is about a stalk of broccoli. I went ahead and washed it and chopped it up, you know, kind of fine. And the stalk parts, I trimmed them up a little bit fine too. But this is about a cup and a half, or a stalk of broccoli. And then I have about two potatoes that I cut in small dice, and about one cup of carrot that I chopped up. So um, that equals about three small potatoes, two medium-sized potatoes, and I just poured out about a cup of uh, the carrots and diced them up. We're going to be using some fresh garlic and other kind of seasoning. So what I did, I went ahead and chopped up my potatoes, washed them, and chopped up my carrots, and I uh, washed them off, and I just have them soaking till I get ready to use them. And with my broccoli, I went ahead and washed it, chopped it up. I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap. Keep it in my refrigerator till I get ready to use it later on today. So I'll meet you at the stove here in a little bit, and we'll get started. On my stove, I have two saute pans set out. You can do it all in one pan. But I'm going to go ahead and get the potatoes and carrots frying, like on a medium high. And I'm going to quick... Uh, saute the uh, meat strips, the steak strips, and then just set them aside. And I'm using vegetable oil. I'm going to put about a teaspoon in the one that I'm going to do the meat in, and a couple of tablespoons, about three, in the ones I'm going to saute the potatoes and carrots in. I'm going to let my oil heat up before I add the potatoes and carrots in it. So that way it don't just soak up all the oil when I pour it in there. When you're frying up potatoes, you don't want to keep just turning them and turning them. It'll make it all mushy. So I want to get the pan good and hot. And then we'll season them up. Be careful of the splatter. We'll go ahead and put some kosher salt and black pepper on there. And then we'll add our meat to this pan. Our steak was already in thin strips, and we just cut them down smaller. And we'll season that up a little bit. Thank you. 
but <clears throat> it doesn't take these thin strips of meat to cook very long. And when this gets about done, we're going to add it into the pan with the potatoes and warm it back up anyway. So I'm going to pull these off the heat, set them aside, and then add them back in. Now it's going to take the potatoes and the carrots about 15 minutes to get soft and tender. So I'll be back when it gets to that point. My potatoes are getting pretty and brown, but they're just not getting good and tender. So what I've done is just covered them with a piece of foil. But be careful when removing that foil so the steam don't burn you. Alright, I'm going to carefully remove my foil and check on my potatoes. I just grab it right here by the corner and just quickly move it. See, they're getting all nice and brown. Almost burnt. Yep, now they're starting to get some tender. So I'm going to just cover them up just for a couple more minutes and then we'll add the rest of the stuff. Alright. Now I'm going to add in my chopped broccoli. Give it a quick stir. I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of minced garlic. Just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes. Of course, a little bit of my dried parsley. I'm going to put in a couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. And I've turned the heat down to medium. Stir that up a little bit. Let that saute for about a minute. Stir and get a bunch. I'm going to cover it. Let it steam for about a minute. Now I'm going to add my beef strip pieces, stir it up. And I'm going to add maybe a half teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. Let everything blend together for a couple of minutes and let the meat heat back up. And I forgot that I had it sitting over here. I'm going to add just a little bit of paprika. And the Worcestershire is just going to make the potatoes and carrots look real dark, but they're really not burnt few pieces might be a little caramelized, but that has the best flavor. 
if you wanted to add a little bit of beef broth to this to add a little juice to it that would be real good it took me around a total of 35 minutes to uh, cook everything and there you have steak potato carrot and broccoli stir fry i hope you enjoy